cordially invited to attend the Let's Have a Heart to Heart, 21st Annual Hamptons Heart Ball, Saturday, June 10th, 2017, 6P to 11P, 9.30P to 12.30 AM, Southampton Arts Center, 25 Jobs, Southampton, New York. And that is one gorgeous place. Had a lot of people working on this and supporting this event. You have Burton Meredith Cohn, New York Langone, Definer, East End and Winthrop, B&B, Dan's Papers, Avenue, Columbia Doctors Novaratis, Hamptons, Community Medical, Hamptons.com, People United, and others, including Good News Planet, American Heart Association. Go to some of our great stories about heart health. Okay, hi, I'm here with Dr. Lori Mosca. Hi, doctor, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. All right, you're being honored here and at the upcoming event in Southampton. Tell us a little bit about uh, your practice. Let's start with that. Well, I've been so fortunate. I've been an American Heart Association volunteer for 25 years, and I've focused my career, my science, on the prevention of heart disease. And my very first grant was from the American Heart Association, and my center at Columbia University Medical Center just received a beautiful $4 million grant to study the effects of sleep restriction or lack of sleep on heart disease risk in women, so we're very, very excited. Okay, well that's very, very important. I just took uh, a sleep apnea a test um, uh, about 116th Street, so uh, yeah. close to that Columbia. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of people don't realize that, um, you know, sleep is a very important lifestyle risk factor. You know, we know about diet, we know about exercise and not smoking, but many folks don't realize that lack of sleep, less than six hours a night, increases your risk for heart disease, and sleep apnea is also a risk factor for heart disease. So if you do have sleep apnea or you think you snore a lot at night and need to be checked out for it, it's a good way to check out for your heart disease risk. And there's two different types. You can either go into a facility or you can do it at home, correct? Well, yes, but we do recommend it's very important that everybody be evaluated by a health care provider um, to really assess whether what type of, if you have sleep apnea, what type it is. And also for um, the average person, just taking a look um, at at your, not only the number of hours you sleep at night, but also the quality of, you, of your sleep. Um, we've really become a society that um, doesn't get enough sleep. We know 30% um, of Americans are not getting the recommended amount of sleep. And we like to recommend that people sort of shut, shut off their devices at night, trying to improve the quality of their sleep. So they're not so you know, woken up with so many text messages and beeps from their uh, cell phone. And the, and the test, I will say, um, uh, was surprising to me. Actually, I was concerned, thinking that something's going to go over my head. Uh, and uh, that would, in essence, annoy me. Uh, but basically, it was a sensor um, and uh, right above, my, under my app, Adam's apple, in that uh, area, of which I had to ask my brother-in-law where to put it. And uh, then uh, on my wrist, there was a, uh, um, like a watch, and my finger into uh, uh, the uh, device. So. Uh, it was actually quite simple. It is simple, but you know, the simplest test for sleep apnea, it really starts with just uh, your, your significant other, your spouse. If they say that you snore at night, that is a very strong predictor of having a problem such as sleep apnea. So if, if somebody's complaining about you um, getting restless sleep or snoring during the night, you might want to have yourself checked out. The testing is quite easy. Um, the treatment isn't always as easy as figuring out if you have it, um, but there are lots of things we can do about it now. And weight is very important yes, in this situation? Some, yes, for some people, you know, sleep apnea is definitely related to body weight. Um, and we do know that um, uh, having, these diff having this uh, syndrome is associated with developing diabetes uh, and other risk factors for heart disease. So it's very, very important to be checked out because we know that this increases heart risk. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome.